In my early years of theology studies in the Dominican order, I never quite understood what the word grace meant. It sounded really important and holy, and I knew that Dominicans were always talking about grace in their homilies, but I just never got it. For me, grace was the prayer you say before a meal. The beautiful hymn, Amazing Grace, so much a part of our Southern religious milieu, has always been my favorite Christian hymn. But even so, if someone would have asked me what amazing grace means, I probably would have said, well, I think it means that God is really amazing. I had a black college friend when I was in school and university studies whose name was Duane. He was a good friend of mine. Duane was a man of spirit and soul. He had grown up in, a, in the black church, and that was his, his energy. He loved to sing, and he had a beautiful, deep African-American singing voice. I used to love to sit with Duane and a couple of friends and just let him sing until we had to go to class. No one had to explain African-American music to me because we watched it flow out of Duane like a beautiful river. Once I was in the Dominican order, I got some more help when someone pointed out to me that the word gratuitousness comes from the root word grace. Gratuitous, grace. In other words, grace has something to do with receiving God's gifts gratuitously, freely, as a gift. Grace is always a gift. After all, isn't that way, the way God loves us? He just gives us gifts freely. All we have to do is open our hearts and let the grace flow into us like a river. I realized on that day that grace isn't something you buy and it, that it was simple, the simple insight that opened my eyes to the world of grace. I understood that we don't have to do anything to receive God's gift of grace. All we have to do is open our hands and open our hearts and just let that grace flow. That's what grace does. It flows. It flows freely from God into our hearts and into our minds and to in our, into our hands and feet. And if we wait long enough, that very same grace will begin to flow out of us out into the world as good news for people who long to taste God's amazing grace. And that's what Duane taught me when I was a college student. Just let it flow, Brian, he said. Give your heart some room to breathe, then sing a note or two. The rest is up to God.